post is very important because it has a, a large number of resident bottlenose dolphins. Um, in many other parts of the world or parts of the UK, the dolphins um, may just be travelling through, but here they stay all year round. Cardigan Bay is a special area of conservation, and so the dolphins are protected within this area, and it means that all the boats have to follow a certain code of conduct um, in order to not disturb the dolphins. We're on a tourist boat here, which is, so it is owned by Sea-Watch, um, but we get a free space on it to come and do some opportunistic sighting. Uh, basically what we're doing is just keeping an eye out all around us, um, looking for anything, dolphins, porpoises, seals, and recording all this data down. Uh, here we can actually interact with members of the public, um, so people can ask us questions about what we're doing, um, we can raise public awareness, um, it's nice for people to sort of get involved and take an interest in this sort of thing. So what Gary's doing is he's recording um, the effort data and the sightings data and effort is to give us an indication of um, where we are on the globe, so the GPS points, how fast the boat is going, um, what kind of survey trip we're on, so we're on a casual watch here, um, and things like the sea state, the weather conditions, um, and any boats that are around us in the area because boats Boat interactions can also affect dolphin behaviour. And then on the sighting sheet, he'll be recording down, you know, if we see anything, how many individuals are, whether they're mothers or calves, what their behaviour is, what direction they're travelling in, things like that. Monitoring work of large species such as the cetaceans, the whales and dolphins, is really important because of, firstly, their uh, Often with large mammals, they're, they're uh, slow, slow reproducing animals, so they don't produce a lot of young. And you need constant monitoring to, to estimate the abundance. And also with animals that uh, perhaps uh, seen as intelligent, such as cetaceans, they show uh, quite specific behaviors in site fatality. And so it's important in areas, if you identify a habitat that's important to these animals, it's important to identify areas within that habitat that might be used for essential things such as calve, calving and breeding. On top of that, uh, large apex predators such as dolphins are representative of the ecosystem below them. So if you have a hot, if you monitor the population of these apex predators, if their population remains healthy, it is a good indication that the rest of the ecosystem is remaining healthy.